Continuing to field more questions here for you, Mons Now, on one of my prior YouTube clips, I'm probably butchering your fucking name. Mons Now asks about should he or she take the step one while a numerical score is still possible, or should you wait until the exam goes to pass fail in early 2022? Which is better, okay? A numerical score or a simple pass? And does it even matter? I will give you a quick answer here, okay? So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I usually am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your SMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as for Mons now. Uh, should you have a numerical step one while that is still possible, or should you simply wait until early 2022 and take your pass on the exam? Okay, does it matter? And look, you are always going to get speculative answers at best. Nobody truly knows, and it is likely the case that it will not be uniform across all programs starting next year. In other words, there will be some programs that choose to blind the step one exam, that'll get some students real fucking emotional right now, okay, at the notion of how some programs might blind the step one. But remember, this is speculative. Some students will blind, some students, the fuck am I saying? Some programs will blind the step one so that students are on an even playing field, although that's a discussion in and of itself. I don't view it as an even playing field. But some programs will blind the step one exam. Other programs will not blind the step one exam. So if we have to arrive at some sort of uh, preliminary consideration and say, well, should I take the exam while it's numerical or should I take a simple pass? It would be in my view that if you feel you are able to achieve a strong score on the exam, i.e. 240s plus, it is to it can only help you. OK, it is to your advantage to take the step one while it is student, still numerical. If you feel you can barely pass, okay, you're going to be looking at uh, a 190s or 200 plus score, you could wait until next year, okay? That doesn't mean you have to wait. I'm not telling you what you should do, but if people are asking my opinion, okay, it could be to your advantage to take the exam while it's numerical if you can get a high score, and if you think you can only just pass, you might be able to wait until 2022 take your pass, and then just focus on getting a high value on 2CK, okay? People are going to have a variety of opinions. There's no, it's not necessarily the case of right versus wrong. Remember, okay? These are speculative views, and nobody truly knows which program is going to subjectively interpret the distribution of passes versus numerical scores in any particular way, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.